Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. Yesterday, for the lunchtime tutorial, we brought you a screencast teaching you about how to format your spreadsheet to make it look pretty, to make it shine. Now, there's another aspect of formatting cells that I wanted to get into, which goes a little deeper. And that is something called conditional formatting. It means we change the formatting of a cell if that cell's contents or if its value meets a certain condition. So let's say we wanted to make today's date light up. The first thing I need to show you is that you can actually have Excel call up today's date using a formula. So I need to show you that formula. Then we can get into the conditional formatting. And the way you do that is you write a formula. We'll go right up here, here into the formula bar and type equals the word today makes sense and just open and close parentheses and that basically asks itself Excel to grab the date off of the computer's clock and stamp it in there so sure enough it gives me today's date of February 8th 2011 now let's say over here I'm looking at a timeline let's say I'm looking at income and I want to see what my income is for each day of, of the of the year and I can set up a timeline here which I've done I started at January 1st 2011 wrote a simple formula which I'll show you I simply set that equal, I set the next cell equal to the previous one, plus one. You can add to dates. Excel recognizes functions with respect to uh, adding mathematically to a date. Now we need to take this out at least as far as today so you can see what I'm talking about in terms of the conditional formatting. Now the next thing you'll do once you have your timeline laid out in a case like this is you'll want to set the conditional formatting so that Excel will light up today's date. This is how we make today light up. The first thing we should do is format this um, in a manner consistent with what I showed you in the previous webcast, which will just make the dates look a little prettier and easier to read. So this is how they will normally look. Now we can set the conditional formatting, which you can do by simply going to, in your Home tab, you'll see right here there's a dialog uh, or a button that brings up a dialog for conditional formatting. So you can click on that. And what I want to show you, there are some options here that I encourage you to play with as always, but I want to show you the generic way to do it without having any sort of presets in place. And what I did was, just to repeat it, is on the conditional formatting options I went to new rule. So we just want to create a brand new conditional formatting rule. And then what I want to do is I want to say format cells that contain. I want to go based on the cell's contents. And, and then over here is where I set my, my criteria. When do I want the formatting to change? And then we'll set the format that we want when this condition is met. So the first thing is let's, just, let's define the condition. So if the cell value is equal to, and basically over here in this section, normally I can set up a, something, a hard number, right? I can say if it's equal to 1, then format it, or if it's equal to the letter A, then format it. But what we're doing here is we're going to write a formula, just like we did up above, that says if it's equal to today's date, whatever that is. So we type equals today, just as we had in the previous example when we're actually writing the formula directly in a cell. If the cell value is equal to today's date, and we type equals today with the parentheses open and close. Now we can set the format. And now we're telling Excel, this is what I want the cell to look like when the date equals today's date. So I go to my fill. And what I usually like to do on something like this to make it stand out is I fill it with a yellow background and a red font. So it really kind of lights it up. And then we'll do bold. We don't need any strike through. So I click OK and I click OK. Now of course this one's not going to light up because this one doesn't equal today's date. But now that I've done this I can copy it and then I can highlight the whole range and then I can paste the formatting. So I go to paste, paste special, formats and that takes the formatting including the conditional formatting and it pastes it across the whole range. So I click OK and when we scroll to the right what I should see is today's date lit up. And sure enough, there it is. Today's date is lit up exactly the way I had defined it. So that tomorrow when I open this, the 9th will be lit up. And so on and so forth. And that, my friends, is how you can make today shine. So have a look. Watch the video again if you need to. And as always, play with this. Play with some of the other conditional formatting options because as you see, there are many. And then go ahead and post a comment below. 
Let me know what you've learned. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll look forward to getting back to you with the answers to any questions or my replies to any comments that you have. As always, I look forward to seeing you on the web, and I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day.